Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is kind of an interesting video, um, one that I'm really thankful to be making. I'm going to share with you guys an amazing, beautiful, fabulous, random act of kindness. Um, I feel like I get many of them and I'm really, really thankful. Um, I send a lot out as well. Um, and I know what it's like to send a box out and of wax out and be so excited to see how that person feels when they get that box of wax. This one is extra, extremely thoughtful. Not that every random act of kindness that I haven't, or that I received hasn't been, I'm th equally thankful for them all. Um, but this one, you'll see why. So this is from a friend of mine on Instagram, um, another fellow waxy that I've gotten really close with. Um, her and I have like similar life stuff. <laughs> and so, um, I'll just put it that way. Um, and so we talk a lot and I'm really thankful for her friendship. I thought that because I talk about this sampler all the time and I say it's the best wax sampler of all time that I would show it to you guys and tell you what's in it so that if the vendor offers it again and you haven't seen it, um, then you would know about it. So this wax friend sent me the Rose Girls Let's Go Camping Sampler. This was a new sampler that Jenny made last like end of summer, fall kind of time. And she wanted to do a sampler that um, was earthy, masculine, aquatic kind of situation. And we were like, I, I of course was like, yes, please, please do something like that. So when she put the pre-order list out, she had a sampler called the Let's Go Camping Sampler. And all she said is that it was masculine, earthy, fresh or something like that. So when I, I was like, okay, I'll get that. When I received it, I had no idea how truly amazing it was going to be. So I, they came in these bags and Jenny does chunk samplers. Um, if you guys haven't ever gotten a sampler from Rose Girls, this is usually what they look like. So, um, they're like her, like colorful multicolored chunks and then like like the chunk muffins but in little cubes I don't know um so I'm going to kind of talk you through them walk you through them and let you know what this sampler is like and then I'll go through the rest of the box of the things she sent me so the first scent in the let's go camping sampler is pond scum this is actually one of my very favorite scents from this sampler um I have melted a lot of this one because I have purchased more of it this is a very, very green, extremely fresh, and it throw, this is one of the strongest throwers from the entire sampler. It's very grassy, but there's also like a clean green scent in it that I really, really like, but there's also a touch of earthiness in it as well. This is definitely like an outdoor, it's almost like an outdoor green laundry, but not laundry because it's just so fresh. It could almost be a laundry, um, pond scum. It's just great. This is like I said, one of the ones that I've had multiples of because I love it so much. Um, this is one, if you guys don't know, because she has put this out multiple times since it was originally in this sampler. Don't kale my vibe. This is her, um, coastal kale. There's cannabis in this one and I can't remember what else was in it. But this is a more mellow than pond scum. More, there's a touch more aquaticness in it. There is a greenness. Obviously, it has cannabis and kale. But this one's more gentle than that, and more like chill vibes. Um, but because it has our coastal kale in it, it's it's very strong. Um, I would say that the coastal kale is the strongest thing in here. But you also get a little bit of like that cannabis, and then a little bit of aquatic in there as well. Um, one that I really enjoy. And like I said, one that she has put out, you know, many times since another one that she has put out many times since. And I love the freaking colors of this one is down by the river. I'm going to pull out one of these so you can see the color. This one is a, to me is almost like an aquatic laundry, like citrusy. Like it almost smells like it has like light blue in it. The perfume type or cologne type, but it's also like, it's a bright, happy, citrusy aquatic basically. 
And I bought, I have purchased a few chunk muffins in this since. Um, so it's one obviously that I enjoy. This was one of my favorites. I mean, I'll, honestly, they're, they're all my favorites. <laughs> There's only one scent in this sampler that I don't like. All the other ones I truly love. So um, Down by the River is another fresh, aquatic, um, really clean scent from this one. Okay, next up is Cracklin' Birch Fluff Puffs. So this one, <laughs> I think when I got the sampler, I said this one was my favorite. And it might still be because of its uniqueness. Um, oh my gosh, so freaking good. I still actually have, um, quite a few mini melters of this scent because after she made this sampler, so many people loved this one so much. She ended up putting it in multiple pre-orders and RTSs so that we could grab it. This is a really strong one. So if you, um, remember a year back or a year and a half back when her site used to be able to stay stocked because... People, you know, weren't buying as much or her protect, her production's different. COVID, who knows what the reason is. She would have a scent called Crackling Birch. And it it seemed like it was almost always on the side. Like, it probably wasn't one of her more popular scents. But it's a really smoky, very, like, 30 out of 10 throw scent. Um, very smoky, very woodsy. Crackling Birch is the perfect name for it. Um, that was always on there. And then her fluff puffs is her monster cookie and her marshmallow smoothie. And so it's this bakery woodsy smoky scent that is really good. It is still stronger on the woodsy smoky scent. So I even like to take this crackling birch fluff puffs and mix it with like her royal sugar cookie or something even like denser, thicker bakery to water that like woodsy scent down even more because that one's really strong. But this is really, really good, um, especially at the end of summer, fall. Like it, I mean, it really be brings like camping to mind because of that smoke, that dense woodsy smoke with a little bit of bakery. Uh, so this is the one scent that I don't really like. And I still never really got an answer as to what it was. But this is Secret Garden. Um, I... It's almost like, so I've never smelled the oil that people have um, in the vendor world have spoken about that is like the tomato vine or tomato plant. I'm thinking that this maybe is what's in here. It is just this really like acidic, planty green scent that I think other people might like, but it's just one that I don't like. Like it, it smells almost like tomato plant leaves or something. Um, so not my favorite, but I know a lot of other people like that type of scent. Um, this one is Campfire Songs. And so I think, I could be wrong, I think that this is her um, Campfire Marshmallow. And another, like, spiced bakery. I, I should have went and researched again, like, what some of these people guessed what they were. Because I don't think she ever, some of these, I don't think she ever told us what were in them. They were just kind of kept mysterious. But yeah, it smells like a, maybe it's like her streusel kuchen and her campfire marshmallow. But it's definitely like a, a, a lightly smoky spiced bakery. And this one is really good on cold, but it's even better on warm. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I think I melted this one in my room. I'm trying to remember from like a year ago. Um, but campfire songs is a really good one as well. Um, I know that a lot of people really loved this one. This is her s'mores cookie cups. Um, I think this one wasn't one of my favorites because it has, there's definitely a chocolate note in it. Um, when I, I remember though, when I melted it, my kids really, really liked it. And it definitely has like a marshmallow scent in there, a chocolate scent in there. And it smells very bakery. It smells like ooey gooey chocolate marshmallowy bakery. This is one I've had, you know, a few chunks of too. This one's called Morning Wood. <laughs> so funny. And this is like a cologne leather scent. I really like this one. This is like a very sexy masculine scent. I really, really love this one. Um, it's a very fresh masculine leather scent. And last one is her Palo Santo Blue Sugar and Vanilla Sandal Wood. Um, I've had other vendors make blends like this, and I just really enjoy them. 
Mm. And just remember, too, that Jenny's um, Palo Santo is very different than other vendors' Palo Santo. Hers is more of a fresh cologne versus like a woodsy incense scent. So this, I, I get the vanilla sandalwood the strongest for sure, and then the Palo Santo, and then the blue sugar. So it's a very, like, smooth, woodsy scent is what that one smells like. So that is the Let's Go Camping Sampler. I know I have like harped and harped and harped about like the most amazing sampler of all time. And those are the scents. And part of the reason why I talk about that sampler all the time is it was the first sampler in the wax world that I got that was just so, had such a variety, um, like had so much emphasis on earthiness and freshness. I feel like I feel like with the new generation of waxies, it's a little bit different because they do, there is a kind of a wider variety of likes, but I did feel like for a long time in the wax world, there was just so many bakery lovers and that's fine. I even like bakery a lot more now than I used to, but I was like, where's like all the other lovers? Like I love earthy scents so much. Um, and I real I love soap scents. I love masculine scents, tree scents, like there's just so much to the wax world that isn't bakery as well. So anyway, that's part of why I love that one so much. And you obviously know I love Rose Girls Wax um, formula. It throws well. I love Jenny. I love her team. So there's that. Okay, now on to the rest of the box. Uh, I've melted a couple little pieces in here, um, but I love all this stuff that she sent me as well. So this is a Super Tarts Clam. In, uh, this is Game of Tarts Night King. Stainless steel, spearmint, peppermint, fresh mint, vanilla bean Noel, um, which that part's called my white walkers, whatever. Um, I have had, I think a cookie in this before, and this is, I, I don't have a lot of experience with super tarts, but this is one of my favorite scents that I've had from super tarts before. I love mint scents so much. Stainless steel is one of my very favorite masculine oils of all time. It's almost like an aquatic it really does smell metallic, <laughs> like an aquatic metallic fresh. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking sexy and minty. I love it so much. Thank you so much for sending this one to me. This is like a Danny scent. Oh, it's so good. Um, This is one I'm trying my best to keep up with her pre-orders. Um, I really need to get in on her next like mint order, whenever that is, masculine and then coffee. Uh, Nicole Perry, she has a YouTube channel and um, she's from Australia. She talks about her um, or super tarts, coffee blends all the time. And I'm like, I need to get in on those. She makes me want to try them so much. So I just feel like I don't follow super tarts that much. And I guess I just need to. Um, I do have two BAM bags of hers coming. I bought them like, I don't know, a month ago or so in two cents and one of them I got, I've never even tried and I got in a band bag. Um, I got because of Nicole and that's in the coven scent. It's like a cola zucchini bread scent. Um, and I really want to try it. And then also I got a pink sugar, lavender, peppermint, like nighttime blend scent. Anyway, Nicole makes me want to buy things. Um, <laughs> and, uh, super tarts is one of them. So anyways, tangent, um, love, this one so much, so thank you so much for sending that one to me. Another Super Tarts clam she sent me is called So Fresh, and this is Citrus Explosion, Soft Laundry, and Sandalwood. I melted a cube of this one in my bathroom. This is, to me, the sandalwood is the strongest to my nose, for sure, but I do get like a, like a citrus laundry as well. It's very, it's almost soapy, which I like. It's like a sandalwood citrus soap. Um, which I'm happy about because I love soap scents. This was very strong. Um, if you follow, if you have followed my channel before, you probably have heard that the reason why I don't do a lot of super tarts is what I've had from her doesn't throw very well in my house. Now I will say though that there are a few exceptions. I do, there are a few scents that I've had from her that are like crazy throwers. So I do feel like I want to just dabble here and there in each of her scent categories and get more experience with each of them before I like, again, say like, I just don't get to throw from it because I've really only dabbled. So it's kind of unfair, unfair for me to say that about her uh, company altogether. So anyways, I am going to be purchasing little bits here and there of super tarts because those ones I like both very much. 
This next one is super sweet of her to send. So this is from uh, Vintage Chic Scents, and this is her Christmas Eve Feast. But this is her old original formula. She sent me this from her wax stash. I purchased this scent in the more current, modern, whatever you want to say, formula. Um, and it was kind of a bummer. But this friend of mine let me know that that new one was not... Like, because she suggested the scent to me to purchase this last holiday. But she said when she got it, it was not the same. And I agree. This original... Uh, formula that she sent me is much better than the one that Kirby made this last winter. And I'm not like upset at anything about it, like anything like that. I know that so many things had to change with COVID and that included oils and waxes and shipping times and all the things for these vendors. Um, but this smells really good. So the Christmas Eve feast was like a cranberry citrus, which is one of my favorite combinations for the holiday. Um, I think there were some spices in there. I can't remember. This is mostly a can cranberry citrus scent. And I really, really like this. I hope Kirby is able to get like her original oils for this. Because I like that a lot more than the current one. Um, she sent me some vintage chic scents. Old Sport. So she had sent me a box. Another random act of kindness. She sends me the best boxes. I'm just so thankful. Um, and had sent me this scent before and I loved it so much and it looks like she sent me it in some of her Chantilly Shatter which if you guys have never seen Vintage Chic's Chantilly Shatter this is what it looks like it has like a lace print on it with little sequins and Old Sport I can't remember the notes of course but it's a fresh masculine aquatic this to my nose right now almost smells like it has like a creamy coconut in it too oh, it's got on my lips it's very much just like a calm, creamy, but also fresh masculine scent. I don't know. It's really good. And it actually throws really, really well. I'm so happy she gave me this much of it because I really love this scent. I don't see her offer it very often. I don't know. Maybe it's not one of her more popular scents, but I really like it. So that was really nice of her to send that to me. I'm really excited because she sent me a few of Empire Alchemy's blends um, in shot cups. I think there was two... Oh, there's a few more. I'll show you as we go. Um, I haven't ordered a lot from Empire Alchemy. I know people love their stuff very much. The, the, I've had a couple things here and there, and they didn't throw very well. There was one blend that did uh, butt first coffee. That was a very strong one. It actually kind of gave me a headache. Um, but I watch Empire Alchemy hauls all the time, and I listen to the notes, and I think, gosh, those are just sound amazing. Um, and I just... I feel like I can only follow so many vendors. Like there's only so much money I have, so much time, like so many alarms I can put on my phone. Um, and this is just not one that I really follow. I hate saying that, but, um, but it's not because I don't like it. It's just what it is. So anyways, this is a little scent shop cup. This is in the scent Coronado. It's funny. The middle school I went to in Arizona was called Coronado. Um, anyway, the notes here are Santal, Oak Moss, Cotton Tree, Laundry, and Warm Amber. Definitely sounds like something I would like. Ooh, yeah. Let me see if I can get it out. Mmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting the Santal and Oak Moss the strongest. And then Warm Amber, and then just a touch of like a cotton laundry-ish scent. Yeah, that's like a very earthy woodsy soft laundry so that's up my alley um and then i'm not exactly sure what this word is galena galena um and this is a uh, classic shave cream amber cologne and stainless steel does my friend know me or does my friend know me mm, i just love stainless steel scents so i am getting the shave cream the strongest here then stainless steel, then just a touch of like the amber cologne. Oh, that is beautiful. Definitely a Danny scent right there. Really nice. Okay, another Empire Alchemy scent. I actually almost melted this the other night, and then I'm like, no, save it for your video. This is called Second Nature. Uh, basil, sage mint, peppermint, vanilla, eucalyptus, and spearmint. You can probably see why that's a, I almost melted that and had to control myself. And it's in these two little hearts. This is so good. Um, mint herby scents. Woo. Um, what do I get the most? Maybe the basil sage. 
I don't get much vanilla, but I definitely get peppermint, spearmint, eucalyptus, and basil sage. It's, man, that's good. It does smell light, though, I will say, but all those notes in there are loves of mine. Um, I'm probably going to melt this one really soon, so I'm in love with it. Okay, she always spoils me with these, like, freaking scoopable wax, too. Um, this is scoopable, scoopable tart wax, which, if I remember correctly, the, Jenny from Rose Girls, her mom owned this company um, a while back. This one is strawberry malo bread, baked zucchini bread, marshmallow smoothie, and strawberry jam. I have a recent love affair with their marshmallow smoothie scent. Mmm. Oh, they have a really good zucchini bread scent too. So I get the baked zucchini bread first, then strawberry jam, but I do get the marshmallow smoothie too. Mmm, that's really nice. Yeah, nice bakery strawberry scent. And then this is blackberry frosted waffle cone. Uh, blackberry waffle cone and cotton candy frosting. Oh, wow, yeah, that is blackberry first. Then cotton candy frosting. I'm not smelling much waffle cone, but I also haven't like dug into the scoopable wax yet. And scoopable, I feel like is the wax that can smell of all waxes that smells the most different from cold to warm. So excited to try that one. Another scoopable here is strawberry margarita. So strawberry jam and margarita. I have been dying to get more margarita scents. That is a very soft margarita. I am mostly getting the strawberry jam. Yeah, so we'll see. It kind of smells like a floral strawberry jam. So we'll see how that one goes. Okay, a Rose Girls Chunk Muffin in Summer Breeze, which I love. Lemon Verbena, Snuggle Baby, and White Clouds. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Ugh, I love Jenny's Summer Breeze so much. So I get the Summer Breeze first, then the Snuggle Baby. A little bit of the lemon verbena and I can imagine that the white clouds is in there but I'm not smelling it outright because I mean, there's so many strong scents involved in this one if you're watching this video and you've never seen a rose girls chunk muffin this is what they look like oh man that one is good oh I hope Jenny puts this one out again wowzers that's good I do smell the white clouds. Gosh, I love her summer breeze. Holy moly, I love that. That is great. Thank you so much. Okay, and then one I'm really excited she sent me because I ordered a bag of this one in Jenny's mini melter pre-order. And after selling this one, I should have ordered so many more bags. So this is Jenny's slurp. Um, this is, these are little chunks. Um, so her slurp, if I remember correctly, is her, it's cereal, but it's also, I think, sugar milk. And is it her marshmallow smoothie or cake? There's some bakery notes in it. So one of her more popular uh, um, cereal blends is called Cereal Killer. And that's like a mix of a bunch of different cereals. And I, I've had that one multiple times, but I'd never had her slurp before. So this one, I was told on the page is a sweeter version because it has bakery and sugar milk. And I can definitely see that. Like this one, because of those additional notes, like... I get like the Fruit Loops or whatever in it, but that like sugar encrustedness that goes on the outside of sugar of um, cereal, I get like a much stronger note of that. And so this is definitely a sweeter, more scrumptious cereal scent. I should have gotten more than one bag of this in the pre-order. Thank you so much for sending that to me so I could smell it. It smells amazing. Um, next up, she sent me some mini melters. If you don't know what mini melters look like from Rose Girls, they're like this. Um, this is Zen which is one of her popular blends, Rain and Shaving Cream. I've never had this blend before. Mmm. Oh, man, that smells like something from my childhood. I don't know. I, I think the Rain and Zen are much stronger than the Shaving Cream in here, but this smells like a very fresh, aquatic, almost like a hair care product or body product. Um, very nice. Thank you. Next up is Vintage Chic Scents Zoltar, Neil's Crazy Sweaters, and As Above, So Below. I don't know any of them. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Very earthy. Like, almost like an earthy, cozy laundry. If you've never seen, um, just in case this is one of your first wax videos, these Vintage Chic Scents does a lot of these little rose scents. 
Um, <clears throat> when you buy things off her Etsy shop, she'll often have three of these rosettes, and that's how you buy scents from her. Gosh, this is good. I'm going to have to look up the notes on this one. This is like a fresh, earthy, cozy laundry almost. Is there a touch of coconut in there? Oh, that's beautiful. She knows me so well. Holy moly, that's good. <clears throat> okay, Rose Girl's Cranberry Macintosh Donut Holes. Her donut hole scent um, has a little bit of spice to it. Oh, yes. Um, so cranberry is one of my very favorite scents. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, gosh, I could just huff this. Um, so her Macintosh is usually really strong. I'm not smelling it as much in here. I am really smelling that cranberry and that spiced donut holes. Holy cow, that's good. This is like house warming like you could do fall winter i mean i would melt this anytime but um that is a very cranberry spice amazingness which i love <laughs> <clears throat> so the next one is vintage chic scents flowers in your hair woodstock and height ashbury i've heard of her all of those scents from her but i don't think i've ever had them this is even more earthy than those other rosettes and less fresh. This is like an earthy floral almost. More gentle. Yeah, this one's nice. I don't, I like it. I don't think I like it as much as the Neil's sweater blend. But this is a very um, like earthy, like sweater kind of feeling. Um, this is two little like Christmas lights from Rose Girls called Blooper Beach. This is actually one of her Mario blends. I have, when she first came out with it, when it was a new blend, I bought a half pie in it and I've melted all the way through it and shared pieces of it. And this is a very like blue aquatic, not necessarily aquatic, but very blue, fresh laundry scent. This one throws like crazy. Um, I will say that if you like laundry, but you want something different, Blooper Beach is a unique laundry um so give it a try and it throws really well and this she was so kind to send this to me <clears throat> this is vintage chic scents in elf judy i went off about this one how much i love it and i still just love it so much um this is uh kirby's palo santo warm vanilla sugar and cupcakes at tiffany's i know that kind of sounds like a basic blend but it's not um this blend is so special it's so special to me and maybe it's because of my age and when the movie Elf Judy is um, from the Santa Claus, the original. Maybe because of how special that movie was to someone my age. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just how my mind attaches to it. But so good. Just a perfect Palo Santo Cupcakes at Tiffany's blend. This is beautiful. And she sent me one of her... Um, Holiday poinsettias in this scent. And thank you so much. Cause that's a very like near and dear to my heart kind of scent. <clears throat> I'm so happy she sent this one to me because I bought a bougie bar of this one in this last RTS from L3. So this is Colacus type from Lush Margarita and Fizzy Pop in this really cute strawberry and like banana bunch. And oh, it's so good. I should have bought more of this, but there's, I went back to the website and it sold out. Oh my gosh. There's something that Colacus does with the margarita and fizzy pop. This just smells like a freaking like summer fiesta. I love this very, very much. Uh, this next one is Rose Girls um, Chunks in Bam Bam. I've seen Jenny offer this one before, but I've never purchased it. Is this like her cereal and carbs? Cause I smell cereal for sure, but I almost like a pretzel. This might be her cereal, her like cereal killer and carbs or something similar to that. But of course I love it. I love cereal scents. So that smells great. <clears throat> oh, this, oh, this one must have fallen out. This is part of the, um, let's go camping sampler. This is actually one of my very favorite scents from it. It's called happy trails. This is like a soft, earthy, fluffy, but slightly masculine scent. I, with a touch of greenness, 
This is, I remember when I melted it, one of my favorite ones. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry that fell out of that um, sampler, but this is a really good one. The next one is VCS Suspish. Never even heard of this one. Hmm. This almost smells like it's part of that Neil's sweater one. This is a more woodsy, earthy, cozy. Mmm. Gosh, I love these kind of scents. I'm gonna have to look that one up. This um is similar to like that Dream Weaver scent or oil. It's an earthy, touch incensey, touch fresh scent. Suspish. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that one up because that smells very nice. Rose Girls, uh, Rose Girls Garden, Raspberry Sauce and Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't know what Rose Girls Garden is. Her raspberry sauce is amazing. It must be something floral. This ends up smelling very body care-ish because it's, the raspberry sauce is a very strong, deeper raspberry kind of scent, Vanilla Bean Noel. Yeah, Rose Girls Garden must be a floral, almost rosy or peony kind of scent because that's what that smells like to me. And then I was so happy she sent me a Super Tarts coffee scent, Ugh, Morning Monster. It must be a blue, is it a blueberry coffee? There's something very sweet, like almost like a blueberry maple coffee. That is very sweet. I'm going to melt it because I'm excited to try it, but I don't know if I'd purchase that one because of how sweet that one is. And this is a scent I have been dying to try. Once again, because Nicole Perry talks about it, but also because it has a bunch of notes that I really like. This is um, uh, Super Tarts Arrow. And I can't remember all the notes that are in it. I'm sorry. But it's a very outdoorsy, woodsy. Oh, there's a touch of mint in there, I think. Oh my gosh, this is... Um, yeah, I will be buying that one. Arrow, woodsy, outdoorsy, almost aquatic and mint. Holy cow, that's a Danny scent right there. Um, Super Tarts Sheldon. I've heard people talk about this one. Ooh, mmm, mint, like mint tea. Holy, what is that? That is like making my nose cold. That is good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that one up too. That one's really like minty, mint laundry. I'm not exactly sure. Um, let's see, I have three more scents in here. Rose Girls Lavender Linen and Icy Shine. She uh, put this one out two pre-orders ago and I love her lavender linen so much but I've never smelled her Icy Shine and I don't know why I've been apprehensive about it. I shouldn't be. Okay. Icy Shine smells like Pantene Pro-V. Uh, shampoo. <laughs> I have so many memories to that scent. That's so funny. High school, young adulthood. I don't smell the lavender linen in that very much, but the icy shine I do, and that's very <laughs> Pantene Pro V. I like it, but wow, there's just a lot of memories attached to that. Um, <coughs> <coughs> I aspirated some wax. Uh, Rose Girls Thunderstorm. I have never heard of this from Jenny. I have followed that page pretty religiously for almost like two years. And I've never seen this one offered. This is a very, it's like a floral rain and masculine kind of scent. I like this a lot. This is going to be a very strong thrower. This is like a masculine, but floral, but rain, but earthy and deep woodsy at the same time. Thunderstorm's a good name for it. And very last one, ugh, I've been wanting to try this so much. Um, Super Tarts Grey's Anatomy. So this is a coffee blend. Oh, I love this one. It smells nutty and creamy and coffee. I would definitely get more of this one. I love the colors in it too. I would definitely buy this one. It's not as coffee forward. This is definitely like nutty, creamy forward. But it's like, it's like has a coffee flavoring to it. Oh, I like that one a lot. Okay, that is everything. Um, 
as you can tell, I love, I loved this so much. Um, not that, I mean, I love anything that someone would send me out of the kindness of their heart. So obviously, um, but thank you so, so much. My Instagram friend, you know who you are. Um, this totally made my life. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I shared that sampler with you. So that if she offers it again, that you will know what's in it and you know, you can know if you want to purchase it. Um, and I just hope you're having a great day and staying well. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.